Yeah. All right, this is part two about how to add a listing. Basically, on part one, you learn how which forms you need and how to add them. Here, this is um, Instanet forms, and we've got access to all the forms right here that we added. Right here, you just select and edit each, okay? The most important and time-consuming one is the input form. And the most important thing to know, too, is that anything black and square here needs to be filled out. So contract date, start date, and end date, okay? And then I'll have the signatures go here. And as you can see, uh, the office can help us add some, but it'll be active. And as you go, actually, no, I'm sorry. This, the, the, round, the round ones need to be filled out. And so do the square ones. Yes. Okay. And you can reference this by the old listing. Okay. So it's good to work on a double screen where you can see both and just reference back and forth. Um, normally it's not a foreclosure. Okay. And then since this one can take a good 10 to 20 minutes, you go up here and you save as you go. All right. And then when you're finished, jump to the next form. Showing instructions, you gotta make sure whoever's gonna be taking the phone calls for the listing. So, you know, office will call the client. Hey, we have a listing tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Who is the phone number and what email does it need to be in here? Because it's not always, could be a, a renter, it could be a seller, it could be, and then there's, um. If they don't, for example, if someone goes to church on Sunday, they may not want to have any showings on Sunday. You know, electronic, you got to have the combo, uh, electronic or combo. And then typically I like to have these two checked, feedback and then remove your shoes. Make sure to have the right um, information with the listing agreement. So I might have to do this because um, if there's any incentives or any kind of deals I'm, I'm cutting with the seller, I'll have to add those. But we do not charge a retainer fee. And we charge between five and 6% typically. For this client, it's usually five. Cause he's a re he gives us like 10 deals a year. Um, <clears throat> so working through these documents, um, let's say, you know, you filled them all out and now you're done. Okay? okay. The way I do it is I exit from here. Once you want to get them signed, you don't use instant forms anymore. You use authenticine. So that's right here. You can rename it. You select first come, first serve. Leave this alone. Participants will be Olmedo, the seller, and I. You add the documents. And you, um, you can use these because we just worked on them. If you were to add other forms from your hard drive or from your computer, you can upload a file here. But typically, the ones we work on are right there. And there are a couple that we don't need signatures on. So we don't need signatures on the checklist or a check, uh, the closing worksheet. There's an error here. <clears throat> Participants. Oh, it's, it shows me as a reviewer. So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna I have to sign this, so I'm gonna be a signer. Always remember to check that. 
and then documents and design. All right, so here we're adding signatures. You have the first drop down is going to be selecting the seller or me, and you use the drag and drop to simply move signatures to where they need to go. And this one is the only signature on this whole document. You can put dates, make sure to let them know if it's vacant, make sure all this is filled out because we did not do that for just because we're doing a training here. Internet display options. This will be all checked yes. And you just add a signature. Keep on going as we go. When you've added all the signatures and my signatures, also put dates. And then initial, you can have the initials by using this. Don't make it an optional initial, make it an initial. So they have to initial it. Okay. When you're finished, you click next. And when you want to send it, just send invitations. Both parties will receive them. I will get notified when they have signed the agreement. Then we can add up, add it, and send it into the ML, uh, the office, and also upload it to Paperless Pipeline. But it's not filled out correctly, so I'm going to cancel. Um, but yeah, then we would just add the whole thing here and you know you can break the listing apart you can break those documents and have it so there's um, just the lead based pane and the disclosures a separate um, form for the office which would be the listing contract and those um, office documents like showing instructions etc and that will all be right in here and then um, we'll have the checklists added and then start working right on the checklist for like any open houses or in the signs. The checklist should be ready to go right in there. And then obviously update this if the listing price changed and then add it um, any information you can. Okay. So that's it. Training part two.